Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Bunny Operator here. Today we're going to go over one of the new plate offerings from HESCO. Specifically the new M210 plate offered by them. Many of you might already know of the venerable HESCO L210s, the one on the left here being the HESCO L210 large plate in 10x12, and the one on the right being the HESCO L210 small in 8x10. Now note that these are both considered as shooter cuts and the new offering by HESCO, the M210, is essentially a multi-curve L210, uh, but they've changed the sizes a little bit. So essentially slightly increased the size of the small plate. So it's, it's sort of in between a small 8x10 and a sappy size. The sappy plate being 8.75 by 11.5 versus the small 8x10, it's slightly larger. And I was going to order that just to see if it fit a little bit better than the 8x10. Uh, I am sort of in between sizes, in between an 8x10 and a 10x12. Uh, so I opted to go for the smaller plate size uh, to save a little bit of weight, but at the same time not have a little bit too much coverage where it hinders my mobility. But Hesco has offered this M210 model, it's multi-curved. As you can see, the curvature is a lot different than on the more flat variant on the standard L210. Now the new M210 variant is considered as 9x11. So this is the first of HESCO's plates offered in this medium size, which is my body type. And it seems to work a lot better for me than the smaller 8x10, giving me a little bit more coverage, but not so much material that it hinders my ability to move, as I've mentioned previously. So moving on ahead, let's go ahead and stack these together, just to kind of show you the difference. Once again, this is the HESCO L210 in large, which is a 10x12. Here is the M210 in 9x11. You see there's a little bit of overhang on the sides, and it's a little bit shorter than the 10 by 12. And here is this small eight by 10. Now, as previously noted, the new M210 model is essentially a multi-curve L210. It offers the same ballistic protection as the L210. It is considered as a special threat plate. And I'll go ahead and link an image of the threat protection here between the different sizes. Now, as noted in my previous video, if you haven't watched that, I'll go ahead and link it up here in the corner. Different sizes will have different threat protections, if you will, or a number of hit ratings due to the level of material that's there. So smaller plates are going to have less amount of hits uh, rated per plate uh, rather than the larger ones, which will have more hits per plate. We're going to go and pull off these two plates for now. We'll pull out the large because this is actually not mine. It's a buddy's plate since this plate doesn't actually fit me. We'll go ahead and leave the comparison between the small plates of the two. Notice how that even though this is considered a shooter's cut or shooter cut, the M210s are considered as swimmer cut. And understanding this, you'll see that the nomenclature between manufacturers vary greatly, including what they name their sizes, right? Because these are considered as smalls, but there's no actual medium plate outside of sappy. In the shooter and swimmer cuts, there is only small and then large. Large is the 10 by 12, which is technically a medium for most people. Now, notice that the slope or the, the angle of the cut here on the shooter is actually a lot more aggressive than the swimmer. This is the swimmer cut. And this is closer to the nomenclature used by some of the other manufacturers for shooter versus swimmer. Usually this more aggressive A profile is more uh, usually the nomenclature used for shooters cut uh, across the various manufacturers. So HESCO opted my guess to use swimmer because this is already considered a shooter and they wanted to differentiate that. Now this is gonna be the first of this style of cut and sizing, this nine by 11 sizing for small plates that HESCO is offering. And I'm looking forward to what else they're gonna bring out to market. 
Specifically, if HESCO decides to bring out this 9x11 sizing and the 3810 line, uh, this is an 8x10 or small plate in uh, 3810s for level 3 plus with a higher threat rating uh, than the the L210 special threat plates and the M210 special threat plates. Uh, granted, the 3810s are also multi-curved, so they're very comfortable and very light, but they do cost a lot more than the L210. So realistically, I got them to compare them against the 8x10 L210s, and I really like them. So as soon as HESCO brings out the M210 profile and size for the 3810s, I'm gonna order a set for myself to test. Uh, 3810s are great. I've primarily used them, actually the weight differences between them. It doesn't look like much on paper, but it makes a difference when you're actually using them. One thing to note is if you have a plate carrier specifically sized for small plates, it may or may not fit the new M210, the M210 being wider. So if your plate carrier is sized for more uh, small sappies, if it was a small plate carrier, uh, size for sappies and it will likely fit but if it's form fitted for 8x10 specifically it may not fit. One example that I have is my Velocity System Scarab. This is a small plate carrier and backtracking also note that the nomenclature between plate carrier manufacturers varies across the board so you have to pick your plate size first and then order your plate carrier accordingly so the manufacturers websites will describe what plates will fit each size plate carrier and you have to look at that okay take a look at it and and figure out which plate carrier size that particular manufacturer uh, has that will fit your specific plates of option okay the m210s being newer some of the companies out there with form-fitted carriers may not work too well with it so as you can see the m210 fits just fine into my small scarab and actually it is edge to edge right now likely because the velocity system scarab is designed for sappies small sappies are 8.75 by 11.75 while these uh, m210s are 9 by 11 9.01 by 11 specifically if you go on hesco's website at the time of the recording of this video they still show it as 8 by 10 and that's incorrect. It's actually 9.01 by 11. And I'll go ahead and also link the press release stating what the correct size is. So fits this carrier nice and snug there. But if we pull in my defense mechanisms MEPC, this one is specifically designed for the 8 by 10 plate so it will not fit because this plate carrier is form fitted specifically you see how much of a difference there is there so it will not fit in there but it does fit my 8x10 plates my 8x10 uh, shooters cuts that's specifically the l210 now the 3810s they also fit in here but they're a little bit thicker and these being um, a, a little bit more form fitting there, sometimes it does push out and there's a little bit uh, excess material in there or rather you won't be able to seal the bottom as well as if you were to use the L210s. Now I did speak with the folks at Defense Mechanisms and they are coming out with a small sappy specific plate carrier. He did talk about potentially making a specific plate carrier size for the M210s but I have a medium plate carrier, uh, a MEPC coming in from them where I will be testing the M210 plates to see if it works in there. Now, if that works out, then there may not be a need for them to create a dedicated carrier, but stay tuned for that. Um, I'll speak to the folks at DM and we'll see where it goes from there. And there you have it, folks. Just a quick introduction into the newer M210 9x11 small plates in swimmer cut offered by HESCO. I want to point out that this is not meant to be a discussion about ballistic threat and ability to take rounds or so. I've, I've gotten messages in the past or comments about people stating that and starting to have discussions about which plate is better than what. That's not what's for discussion here. It's simply introduction to talk about the sizing, right? So in, in this industry itself, folks that are in the smaller body type or they tend to be in between sizes, we kind of have a rough. So this is one of the solutions that were out there. So it's just basically a sizing that HESCO has introduced to fit a lot of the quote unquote medium folks out there like my body type and it works for me so far so I look forward to anything else that HESCO may offer. 
if you want ballistic testing and all that stuff, go to the other channels that are out there. They do a much better job at giving you that information, giving you that data point than I will. Frankly, I don't have the funds to buy multiple plates to test for you. If you really want to know, buy the plates yourself, man. It's free information. And this is just a data point for folks out there looking for properly sized plates for themselves. That's all I got for you today. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have questions, if you have um, specific needs that I might be able to address for you or comment below, you know, other folks who are watching the video might be able to help you out there if I don't have the data. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The YouTube algorithms are all over the place right now. I'm not even sure what's going on, but if you found the information useful, you know, share it with other people. Let me know. Let me know what you think and see if I can provide additional content for you down the line. Other than that, I have a few other projects coming up. So stay tuned for those videos. That's all I got for you today. Bunny Operator, signing out.